The Old Testament reading for today is from 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 8 to 17. This passage tells about a battle between the king of Aram and the king of Israel. The king of Israel has an advantage because of God's prophet Elijah, because he is protected by heavenly hosts. Now, the king of Aram was at war with Israel. After conferring with his officers, he said, I will set up my camp in such and such a place. The man of God sent word to the king of Israel, Beware the, of passing that place, because the Armenians are going down there. So the king of Israel checked on the place indicated by the man of God. Time and time again, Elijah warned the king so that he was on his guard in such places. This enraged the king of Aram. He summoned his officers and demanded of them, Will you not tell me which of us is on the side of the king of Israel? None of us, my lord the king, said one of his officers. But Elijah, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the very words you speak in your bedroom. Go find out where he is, the king ordered, so I can send men and capture him. The report came back. He is in Jonathan. Then he sent horses and chariots and a strong force there. They went by night and surrounded the city. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh, my Lord! What shall we do? the servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are not who are with them. And Elijah prayed, O oh Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked, and he saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. 166.
Lord Jesus, for your mercy that is new for us every morning, for your joy, and for your peace that are available to us no matter what our present circumstances. Lord God, we come this morning to worship you because you are worthy. We come this morning, Lord, to feast upon you because we are hungry and thirsty and we need real food and real spiritual drink. We ask, Holy God, that you would be with us in these moments, that by your Spirit we would worship in a way that is worthy, that we would walk in truth, and that as we are filled to overflowing with your nature and your character, that we would be your very presence to all that we need. So Lord, we seek your blessing today, not just for ourselves, but we seek to become your blessing to all that we would meet this day and through the week until you come to receive us. Lord, may all that is done today bring glory and honor to your name and your goodness and your grace to this community. For we pray, Lord Jesus, in your mighty, strong, loving name. Amen and amen. Let us affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. Sisters and brothers in Christ, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is the one true Church, apostolic and universal, whose holy faith let us now declare. I believe in God the Father only, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified by the dead in the earth. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last